with Mason Electric Power Cooperative and with Mr. James Grawl at the helm, uh, we'll go in a very good direction. Without further ado, I want to give you Mr. James Grawl, General Manager. Thank you, Gary. Distinguished guests and ladies and gentlemen, I uh, would like to uh, start off by thanking all of you for your participation today in the groundbreaking ceremonies for the Antelope Valley Station. You will need more than 60 permits by uh, local, state, and federal government before we are able to operate this plant. We are a North Dakota nonprofit corporation, and we are offended when we are labeled at times as some kind of omnivorous out-of-state organization or company, which is in Mercer County on the lignite fields, principally to exploit the people and the resources of the county. Some of these statements are made by people who do not know any better, and some by people who do and choose to paint a disagreeable picture for their own reasons. The question of why Mason Electric builds large generating plants is sometimes raised. Some people think that they would like to see small, local, decentralized power plants to provide them with heat, light, and power, and at an affordable cost. These people do not realize that this would be very expensive and that small decentralized systems are beyond the economic reach of most people. Why is the construction of large mine mouth plants like the Antelope Valley stations located on the coal fields and near an abundant source of water cheaper than a group of smaller plants? Why, in other words, does the regional approach to power supply actually conserve our resources? It is because it permits the construction of a fewer number of larger and more economical facilities which use our resources far more efficiently than do small plants. For example, one 500,000 kilowatt coal-fired generator unit would cost about $100 million less, conservatively, than 10 50,000 kilowatt plants. Each of the small plants would be about the size of Basin Electric's William J. Neal plant at Velva, considered a large generating plant when it was constructed in 1952. It must be remembered that regardless of the size of the plant, under our present laws and regulations, the same costly permit process must be followed for a 50,000 kilowatt plant as for a 500,000 kilowatt plant, and the same pollution standards must be met and the cost of pollution equipment for these smaller plants is even higher. Other examples of the cost of large plants versus small are, uh, include the fact that one 500,000 kilowatt unit burns a half a million tons per year less lignite than 10 50,000 kilowatt units, and nearly 18 million tons less than its 35 year lifetime. This means strip mining about 1,800 fewer acres of land than it's